What if I told you Toyota just did what no other car company could? They've revealed a next-gen aluminum ion battery that delivers a jaw-dropping 1,000-mile range and can fully charge in just five minutes. Let that sink in. No more range anxiety. No more waiting hours at charging stations. No more excuses. At a surprise press event in Tokyo, Toyota dropped a bombshell that stunned the entire EV industry. CEOs from Tesla, GM, and BYD were reportedly in the room, and the look on their faces, speechless. Because this isn't just a step forward. It's a leap that may sideline lithium-ion entirely. It's fireproof, lighter, non-toxic, and doesn't rely on rare earths. This is the breakthrough the world has been waiting for. And it didn't come from Silicon Valley this time. It came from Japan. So, before this video dives into how Toyota pulled it off and what it means for Tesla for gas cars, and maybe even for oil itself, make sure to smash the like button, hit subscribe, and turn on notifications. This isn't just a story about electric cars. It's the start of a global energy war, and you're watching it unfold right now. They said lithium was the future. That solid state was the final frontier. But Toyota just broke the silence with a five-minute press event that left the EV world in total chaos. No teaser, no leaks, just raw specs on a screen. 1,000-mile range, full charge in five minutes, zero lithium, zero cobalt. At first, people thought it was a joke, a marketing stunt. But what Toyota showed wasn't concept art. It was a functioning aluminum ion prototype backed by third-party validation. Peak charging speed, 1,200 kilowatts. Cycle life, over 10,000 full charges with less than 5% degradation. Thermal stability tested up to 250 degrees Celsius without a single failure. Industry insiders scrambled. This wasn't a marginal improvement over Tesla's 4,680 cells. It was four times faster, lighter, and non-flammable. It didn't need cobalt. It didn't rely on lithium mines buried under political tension. It simply worked. Cleaner, safer, and infinitely more scalable. And the material behind it, aluminum, not rare, not toxic, not buried under monopolized territories. Aluminum is the third most abundant element on Earth, and it's already mined, traded, and recycled globally. Toyota didn't just improve EV batteries. They detonated the entire supply chain map. Here's the shocker. The charge capacity isn't a theoretical dream. It's been field tested, lab tested, and fast-tracked for mass production by late 2026. Toyota's internal roadmap now includes aluminum ion in at least eight vehicle platforms. And new patents suggest it may even scale to home energy and aviation. So what makes this chemistry so different? Unlike lithium, where each ion carries a single charge, aluminum ions carry three electrons per ion. That's three times the electrical payload in the same space. Combined with a graphene-based cathode, these ions move at breakneck speed with minimal resistance. No overheating, no runaway, no need for cooling systems or massive buffer zones. And while lithium batteries degrade under stress, heat, fast charging, deep discharge, aluminum ion cells don't care. Toyota's prototypes were frozen, then superheated, crushed, punctured, short-circuited. Nothing exploded. Nothing vented gas. Not even a spark. That kind of stability isn't just safer, it's disruptive. You can mount these batteries under seats, inside doors, anywhere in the frame. No fear of fire. For regulators, insurers, and fleet operators, that changes everything. But here's the twist. While the public marveled at the specs, insiders panicked over what wasn't said. Toyota didn't mention lithium. Not once. No comparison. No backward compatibility. Just a cold, silent message to every automaker still betting on lithium-ion. You're now behind. Tesla, BYD, GM, even CTL, all caught off guard. Supply contracts, mining deals, billion-dollar gigafactories suddenly at risk. Because this new battery doesn't use the same playbook. It doesn't need lithium extraction from South America. It doesn't require cobalt from Congo. It doesn't care about geopolitics. And the range, this wasn't marketing math. 
Toyota's prototype sedan completed 1,000 miles on a closed track using a single charge while carrying the equivalent payload of a Camry. No hypermiling. No stripped-down test car. Real-world drive. Real load. Real speed. The implications are staggering. If mass-produced at scale, this would make current EVs obsolete in both cost and performance. Charging infrastructure would shrink. No more waiting 30 minutes. Highway rest stops would become five-minute pit stops, just like gas. But it's not just the speed, it's the chemistry itself. Aluminum is fireproof, non-toxic, recyclable at 96% efficiency. And most importantly, it doesn't rely on scarce minerals hoarded by a handful of suppliers. That's where lithium begins to crumble. For two decades, it wasn't just the backbone of clean energy. It was a monopoly controlled by a tight cartel of miners, processors, and middlemen from Chile to China. But now that grip is slipping. Between 2020 and 2023, lithium prices didn't just rise. They exploded. A 400% spike triggered panic. EV giants scrambled to lock in supply deals worth billions. Deals are now aging like milk. And Toyota, they didn't just sidestep the chaos. They dismantled the system. With aluminum, they pulled the pin from a very fragile granite. And that fragility goes deeper than economics. The majority of global lithium reserves are buried under the salt flats of Bolivia, Argentina, and Chile. Regions teetering on political chaos, nationalizations, protests, export bans. One presidential decree, and the EV supply chain grinds to dust. Then there's cobalt, quietly essential to most lithium-ion chemistries. Over 70% of the world's cobalt comes from the Democratic Republic of Congo, where investigative reports continue to expose child labor and armed militia-run mines. It's the dark secret behind the EV revolution, and Toyota just walked away from it. Aluminum doesn't carry that bloodstain. It's mined globally, traded cleanly, and recycled almost infinitely. Toyota's pivot could reduce lithium demand by 30% in the next 10 years. That's not a forecast. That's an economic collapse waiting to happen. One that lithium giants are praying doesn't come true. But while lithium is cracking, oil is panicking. The fossil fuel lobby has seen battery hype before, but not like this. Not with specs that directly outmatch combustion. For decades, range was the last stronghold of the gas engine. But a 1,000-mile battery? A five-minute recharge? That's not competition. That's a kill shot. Internal combustion vehicles can't evolve their way out of this. An aluminum-ion Toyota Camry would leave even a gas-powered Lexus in the dust, not just in range, but in efficiency, weight, and cost per mile. 